I cover a wide range of robotic vacuums on this channel. Everything from entry-level vacuums with few features to mid-range vacuums with flagship features. Today, I partner with Ecovacs to share with you this, the Dvoch X1 Omni. If Tesla made a robotic vacuum, this would be it. It's a two-in-one mopping and robotic vacuum combo, and I gotta say, it's the best one that I have tested. This vacuum has been on the market for a bit now, so I'm sure you've seen some reviews. So rather than doing things in a traditional sense, I just wanna tell you why I like it and why I think it might be worth over a thousand bucks. To kick things off, let's talk about build quality and design because I love it. They have practically thought of everything. The X1 Omni was co-designed with Jacob Jensen Design. If you've never heard of Jacob Jensen Design, he specializes in the manufacturing of watches and really modern home appliances and products. I went over to the website and checked it out and I love the watches and their home products look amazing and you can definitely see his design language being brought over into this vacuum because it just looks really classy when it's sitting in a room. When it comes to the materials on the vacuum itself, it's really high end. It features lots of very durable and resilient plastic. It does feature magnets all along the top so to pop off the lid, you just simply just take off the entire lid like you see. And there's a bunch of magnets that will line it up whenever you're snapping it back on. Plus it has a lot of heft to it. This is one of the heaviest robotic vacuums that I've used and it just feels extremely solid. This is definitely not a small or compact vacuum by any means. As you can see, it goes up to about knee height, at least on me. So it's a pretty large vacuum. I would say it's probably one of the largest on the market, but there's a lot of benefits that come with that large design which we'll talk about here in just a minute. It does have great cable management on the back so you can easily hide the cord. The reason why this vacuum is so big is because the top opens up and we have a couple containers in here. One is for clean water and you can just pop it out just like that. And the other is for dirty water. And once again, it's easily removed just like that. Now in the center, this slides out and we have additional mop heads. So these are for the um, scrubbing mops that we'll talk about later on in the video. We have a brush here for cleaning up any gunk inside the robots or in the dirty water container. And once you're done, you can just rinse off everything and it just slides right back into the center of the top portion like so. You also get three buttons up here on top of the dock. You get a self-cleaning button, a start and pause button, and then a return to dock slash exit button. In case you didn't notice, there was no dustbin located up top. Instead to get to it, there's like a little button that you press. So you just push that, then a tray slides out, and now you can swap out the dust bag. That stuff is all good and great, but what about the performance? How good is this little sucker? Well, it has a suction power of 5,000 PA, one of the highest on the market. The dust bin on the vacuum itself is 0.4 liters and features a F9 level filter. The brushes do a great job at collecting dust from along the walls and even in the corners. I do recommend occasionally checking and manually sweeping along the walls just like you would with any other robotic vacuum in case it missed anything. The floating main brush on the bottom also works great and when combined with the 5000 PA suction power, it does an excellent job cleaning my carpets and hard floors. It's especially great with dog hair. It's also really quiet and it supports various suction modes and cleaning styles which are located inside the app. Here's a quick listen to each mode. Like other robotic vacuums, maintenance on the X1 Omni is easy. It will tell you in the app when you need to do things like clean or replace the different brushes, filters, mopping pads, dust bag, and other components. When it comes to robotic vacuums, I typically don't use them as mops. However, this one has changed me. The number one reason for this is because it has yet to fail me by going onto my rugs and carpets. I even tried to trip it up by moving our doormat to the opposite door and it did not go on it. This is because of the ultrasonic sensor used for carpet detection. This sensor is used for a couple different things. The first is specific to vacuuming and that's to ramp up suction when carpet is detected. The second is for mopping which will make the robot avoid going on carpet once it's detected. 
And let me tell you, it works so well. Maybe I have really low expectations or haven't explored the land of exotic vacuums enough, but this vacuum has impressed me so much that I have it scheduled to mop my floors twice a week while I'm sleeping. And that's a big deal for me. With that said, it doesn't completely take the manual mopping out of the equation. There are still places that the vacuum won't go since it won't travel on carpets or rugs. For example, if you have an area rug with hard flooring on the opposite side, the vacuum will avoid this space altogether. I don't find this to be an issue since I would rather it not drag wet brushes across my carpet, but I did want to mention that. Even though I was mostly impressed with the carpet detection, the brushes themselves are also quite unique and work great. They consist of two actual rotating brushes that attach magnetically along the bottom. Thanks to Osmo Turbo 2.0, they rotate 180 times per minute. In my use, it worked great. I'll still probably do a manual deep clean when it's time, but for maintenance mopping, it's been perfect. You can pick from three different water flow levels and the cleaning interval inside the app. The cleaning interval is not what it sounds like, but instead something much, much cooler. So when it first starts, it will fill the robot with clean water. It will then start mopping using whatever flow setting you picked out. However, as it mops, it will stop periodically to clean the brushes. This is where those cleaning intervals come into play. When it needs to be cleaned, it will redock itself. Pads are slightly dirty. I'll return to wash them. The dock will use water from the clean water tank and its suction capabilities to clean the brushes and remove the dirty water. Once clean and refilled, it will go back out and continue where it left off. What's even more impressive is that once it finishes the job, it not only washes the brushes, it releases hot air to dry them in order to prevent mold and mildew from building up. These settings are also accessible inside of the app. When it comes to obstacle avoidance, this vacuum is the best that I've tested. Remember when I said if Tesla made a vacuum, this would be it? Well, this is why. It uses a combination of LiDAR and IV or AIVI 3D. This technology is a combination of AI processing and an astrophotography RGB camera. This gives the robot autopilot, obstacle avoidance, and human recognition capabilities. I'm really impressed with its performance as you can see for yourself. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. What's great is you can access this RGB camera inside of the app and you can do all types of stuff. Let's talk about that now. So this is the main page right here. You can see I have a live feed of my living room. I can shrink the window. So now it's a little small window in the top right. And if I tap on it, it'll give me full screen. I can also tap go and that will bring me to all of the features with the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it load. And from here, I can adjust different things like the video recording status reminder, the voice reminder, and the light reminder. I also can go into my gallery where different video clips have been recorded as well as photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up. I can start recording. So right now it's actually recording a video and then I can stop it. And then there is my video that I've recorded. I can discard the video or save it. I can also snap a picture, which is right below the record button. I have arrival on command, which is really, really cool. So if I tap on that, I can tap anywhere on my map and the robot will go to that area and I can record it while it does it. I can also do home patrol, which is right next to arrival on command. So if I did home patrol, it would actually patrol my home. So it acts as almost like a security camera, which is really, really cool. Uh, next to that, we have voice call, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And then if I'm done, I can just tap return to station and it will go back to its base. On the left-hand side of the camera interface, you have this little D-pad so you can steer the vacuum. So I can go left, I can go right, I can go forward, and I can go in reverse. I really like this. I wish I could use this while suction was engaged so that way I could control the vacuum manually while it's vacuuming. But unfortunately, this only works for um, arrival on command or for the live feed. So if I wanted to hit the record button, I could drive the vacuum around and steer it while recording video or taking a picture. So it's basically like a manually controlled security camera on wheels, which is still cool. I like it. I just wish that it also had that feature while vacuuming. I've talked quite a bit about the app throughout the video, but I do want to touch on a few other things that really stood out to me and things that I like. First and foremost, I just really like the app interface. As soon as you open it up, you're greeted with either smart cleaning or you can enter the video manager. 
If you tap on video manager, it will take you to that live feed that I just talked about. If you wanna get into the cleaning side of things, just tap enter smart cleaning. And from here, you can pick a room to clean. You can assign virtual walls. You can clean your entire floor plan. You can completely customize the cleaning experience, such as the vacuum power, water flow level, how many times you want your floors cleaned, so on and so forth. You can rename your robot and do all the traditional things that you can do in other robotic apps, but I really like how everything is laid out inside the Ecovax app because everything is straightforward, easy to find, and there's still plenty of settings in here to either customize the experience or just fine tune everything. So when it comes to mapping, TrueMaps 2.0 works great. If I tap on map management, in the top right, I can use quick mapping to automatically map out my floor plan. And I found it did a great job for my home. Um, you can see it automatically assigned rooms for me. And if I need to go in and relabel those areas, I can do so. I can also divide rooms in case it didn't do a good job in terms of dividing my floor plan, or I can always merge rooms. These are basic functions that you find in most other vacuum apps, but it's really nice that they're here. You can also tap in the top right and you can back up your map. So that way, if something happens to your phone, whether you lose it, misplace it, factory reset it, or get a new device, you can always back it up to your Ecovax accounts. That way, when you get your new phone, you can restore your map. You could also store up to three different maps on your phone. So if you have a multi-story home, you can store every single floor plan that you have and then rename those maps accordingly. And of course, you can delete maps. So you have a lot of the basic features here, but you also have 3D maps, which really blew me away. To access your 3D map, all you have to do is tap on this little symbol where it says 3D, and it will pull up a 3D render of your home. This is what really impressed me and blew me away because I've never seen this on another vacuum. So if I go over to the living room where I'm sitting right now, we have two couches, we have a side table, a coffee table, an entertainment center, and it even picked up on the TV on the entertainment center. And we have the area rug, and then we have my doormat right there. How impressive is that? The vacuum literally picked up on all these pieces of furniture and then added them to my 3D map. Now it doesn't have a ton of use. That said, if you want it to vacuum under a specific piece of furniture, that's where the 3D maps really shine. So you can tell the vacuum to vacuum under your couch, under your entertainment center, and it will go to that specific point and do that job. Other than that, the regular maps work great for vacuuming areas, for vacuuming rooms and things like that. But the 3D maps really do have a cool purpose when it comes to just getting under furniture. And plus it's just a really cool party trick to show your friends because that looks awesome. The X1 Omni has other smart capabilities, including smart home functionality. So of course you can tie it into Amazon's platform or Google Home, but you may not want to because it actually has its own voice assistant and it works really good, including the ability to vacuum where you're at. Check this out. Okay, Yiko. Vacuum over here. This is really cool. It's gonna come out. It's gonna look for me. Once it finds me, it's gonna vacuum in this area. It's not perfect. It won't vacuum in the exact position where I'm standing, but it'll do like a wider cleaning job. So it'll vacuum in this entire area. This is really, really neat. So as you can see, it's off the dock. It's searching for me right now. It just located me. It just said, found you and now it says I'll start cleaning. You can also tell it not to vacuum an area. So if you're standing over here, I could say don't vacuum this area. I can also send it back to the dock. There's a lot that you can do with Yiko. In fact, there's more that you can do with Yiko than you can with Amazon or Google. You can find a list of commands inside the app and there are tons. The last feature that I wanna talk about when it comes to the app is the voice call feature. I briefly mentioned it earlier, but now I wanna give you a demonstration. So as you can see, my wife is right there in the kitchen. I'm in my car, I can go ahead and tap voice call. So it's going to call the vacuum. Hey babe, yeah. can you start the oven for me? Okay, what, what, what do you want me to preheat it to? 350. So how cool is that? I can literally tap into the, to the robot and place a voice call from anywhere. So there you go, that's the D-Bot X1 Omni, the best vacuum I have ever tested. At the time of this video, Ecovacs is currently having a sale for the X1 Omni and you can pick it up for a pretty big discount. So make sure to check out the link in the description for up-to-date pricing. There are budget alternatives out there that perform well, but none of them are going to excel in every category the way this one does. 
Not to mention, you won't find the smart capabilities of this vacuum on budget or mid-range vacuums. It's just a great all-around robotic vacuum that I don't think you're going to be disappointed with. Let me know what you think of the D-Bot X1 Omni in the comments below, and stay tuned for a full comparison with the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, another flagship vacuum. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.